Welcome to this video. My name is Mark Tithian. The date today is July 30th, 2024. This video is going to be the revised version of impact force of a falling object. So the first step is to calculate the kinetic and potential energy of the object dropped while at rest and at its maximum kinetic energy immediately before striking the ground and coming to rest. We know that kinetic energy is equal to potential energy because energy is conserved. So we can simply equate 1 half mv squared kinetic energy to gravitational potential energy mgh so finding their congruence using the metric system of units, we can then solve for the final velocity of the object immediately before it strikes the ground. One hundred and thirty four meters per second. So that would be our final velocity prior to object striking the ground. So we know there are 3.28 feet per second to one meter per second. So we can convert this into the US system of measure for velocity in feet per second. So the final velocity is 439.5 feet per second. And of course, our initial velocity is 0, 0.0 feet per second. So by simply multiplying the weight of the object times the change in velocity, delta V, and dividing it into gravitational acceleration on Earth in the US system of measure, we can quickly calculate the dynamic force of the object exerted as a vector downward thus equal to 27.3 pounds force. So this would be the dynamic force and then based on Newton's third law of motion every force action has an equal and opposite reactionary force. We then calculate the normal force upward thus the practical impact force so that would be negative 27.3 pounds force upward and we can call this the reaction force in the opposite direction. So if we drew a free body diagram we have positive 27.3 pounds force upon impact and the practicality is the reactionary force. So in actuality it is an upward force so we often think gravity its reaction with mass being the force weight, but the only reason we don't fall through the ground is because we have an upward force, a normal force, so the practical behavior of gravity is upward, the reactionary or normal force, so 27.3 pounds force is the practicality based on its absolute value metric. So lastly, we have to consider this large amount of kinetic energy, 8164.7 joules, that's the potential energy equal to the kinetic energy. So if we were to divide this value into 1.36, we then calculate 6,003.5 foot-pounds of kinetic energy. This is twice as much kinetic energy as a 30 as a 30 out six bullet in motion at 111 times greater mass two pounds versus uh, I'm sorry 0.91 kilograms versus 0 0.0097 kilograms that's 150 grain round so this is 111 times greater mass 
than a 30 out six bullet and 6.8 times less velocity. So 439.5 versus 3000 feet per second. So the consideration is that in comparison to the rifle bullet, it's greater mass, lower velocity, lower impact force, non-projectile, so it is naturally or gravity accelerated rather than using smokeless powder charge. So the ground risks to consider is potentially lethal blunt force trauma, broken bones, less likely for object to penetrate as a bullet would, considering lower impact force. So we have approximately 2,700 pounds of impact force with a 30 out six round and here we have uh, 100 times, about 100 times less impact force. But still we have such a large amount of kinetic energy. So a practical example is military troops for which the A-10 Thunderbolt flies over even during practice missions in training where a two pound empty GAU-8 Avenger cannon shell casing falls and hits one of the troops. And it is not uncommon to hear about broken bones, blunt force trauma, rarely any penetrative injuries or lethalities, but surely severe blunt force trauma not because of the impact force, but because of the large amount of kinetic energy that is incurred on its way down. So the baseline instantaneous calculation is 27.3 pounds force for this object. And the kinetic energy is 6,003.5 foot pounds. Thank you for watching this video and have a great day.